What is a schemer? Someone who crafts ideas in isolation, passions in private. By scheming, you evolve to help the world. So please help me usher in a renaissance for humanity. The Neon Revolution. Welcome to part two of Luca's uh, DIY pilgrimage construction project. <laughs> Where I'm basically just using a bunch of random leftover wood from the my father's development uh, business to create something new and interesting and weird and strange but it's unique because it's me because i just like everyone else in the world everyone that's watching you right now we're all unique we're all unique individuals so that's the beauty of this diy you know scheming specifically Quarren scheme period <laughs> is this is the period of time when you get to make your own unique thing like make your mark on the world make something like make some art it doesn't have to be you know a painting it can be whatever the hell this is like right now i'm going to throw on my mask get some spray paint cans and basically polish off this stage of the process. This initial stage has been interesting, but the sun is setting. I need to I need to bring this to a close. So let us wrap it up with some amazing spray paint that I couldn't spray during the process. I would have to spray and then leave it because it'd be too wet and I don't want to walk all over my own paint. You'll, you'll see what purpose I have for randomly spraying some wood. It's, you'll see eventually. Probably not the end of this episode, but maybe I'll reveal the scheme. Ha ha ha! Yes! I'm so excited to share my schemes with you all. The mask. of the agricultists of the corn scheme period. <laughs> Man, everybody has a mask, but literally now you can be a vigilante spray paint person too. All right. But do it good, okay? Don't do anything illegal. Don't do anything illegal. I'm not recommending you to break the law. <laughs> Let's be fully clear on that. Let us be fully clear over what I'm saying. So why am I spraying these things? So it won't matter if my family likes it or not. <laughs> they probably won't see it until the black light hits. <laughs> and that is the point. Also, because I don't want some random worker while I'm away from this site to see this pile of wood and think it's a mistake. It's painted cohesively, but it should be totally apparent that it is purposeful. If it's, whether it's good or not is irrelevant.
<sighs> okay. I feel like that is sufficiently messy. You guys like it? Well, if you don't, then it's because it's not done. That's why. Don't judge a book by its first draft. By its by its uh, outline paragraphs. However, I will be skedaddling now. Oh yes, I feel like the thing I always remember is to good good rule of thumb for spray painting to keep the uh, the tube within the spray can from gunking up. It's best to do a little bit of spraying upside down so that you dry out the tube because there's still a little paint in the tube. <laughs> Sign off the true party king, the Gravelli over here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of actually I haven't fully decided what I want this to be called yet. I guess uh quarantine scheme projects, maybe? I mean, because it's the quarantine and it's a time to scheme. So yeah. Do your uh, your corn scheme projects. I highly suggest to all of you, my friends, get to scheming. Work on your thing. Like, oh my god, I feel so awesome and accomplished and motivated. Even if you guys don't see it yet, that thing is like the it's the start. That is the start of crazy to come. Because. Uh, I do have a handy dandy little mega flashlight so you can kind of see what it's going to look like once the schemes are in full effect. It's going to be, I actually don't fully know. You can appreciate that yet. But the idea being that once, uh, once nighttime hits, it'll basically present its true colors. Because the plan is, like, this is nowhere near what this thing is going to look like in the end. This is just solely the, the foundation, the foundation that I'm working with. And as such, it's going to be almost entirely covered by uh, other reinforcements and some possible uh, brick or st other stone blocks that I have like over there to get laid on top to you know make for a nicer presentation during the daytime. However, during the night, that is when the true colors show. Oh, so anyways, I am having so much fun. I love you all. I hope you, I hope you are inspired by by what I'm doing to like you know shut off the news for a little bit like you know the, the memes are hilarious and old too and it's great to laugh and chill and enjoy and you know catch up on the shows that you, you aren't able to normally during your daily life but but like most importantly like let this time of quarantine be a different time don't let this just be you know that those like couple of hours that you spend al alone or with you know your significant other just chilling like this is more than chilling like this is hibernation period like this these two weeks or however long you're quarantined for like it's it's gonna let's just say it's going to trial your soul if you're not in the right mindset of this is monk mode time hunker down time put yourself in the corn scheme spirit and you know better for it and i Cannot wait to update you with some more episodes of this uh, project. So I know it's a heavy cliche, but I feel like since I'm putting this on YouTube, I would uh, 
know if you would like and subscribe and share because that helps with the algorithms or whatever the hell and would definitely help spread the word that you know now again now is the time to work like come on do it be like einstein come on einstein like created calculus and physics during the bubonic plague quarantine like don't you want to be isaac newton don't you want to do something amazing like i want i want to see what amazing stuff you're doing like i'm so excited by the revolution that we're encountering now and like now is the time to do awesome stuff do it just da, 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 da. love you bye Thank you.